the number one reason why I got an LCR meter was to measure inductance. So to begin with, the L in LCR stands for inductance. This is inductance, capacitance, resistance. So it measures all three of these. And really nice thing about this meter is there's an auto uh, reading setting. So now this meter has two slots here. It also has some accessories that allow you to uh, connect the, to the components in uh, more conventional ways with probes or whatever. But uh, right now we're just going to stick with this. So to begin with, I ordered this inductor online. And uh, one issue with inductors is that uh, micro is usually signified by the Greek letter mu. And it looks like a U. A lot of times people use U. But uh, a lot of times when people are selling components in the micro range, they put M for micro, even though M should be milla. So milla is 1,000 times as large as micro. So when I ordered these, I didn't know if the seller uh, wrote M where it should be micro. But uh, they looked like they were larger value inductors so uh, I felt pretty safe that they they were 10 millihenry but here you can see it's uh, slightly smaller than 10 millihenry but uh, that's what it's rated for and we expect that it'll be slightly smaller and now so that showed us the henrys now if I take a resistor this is a 470 ohm resistor and there we go there's a couple little metal uh, pieces there that spread apart to hold the component in. But now you see this is 470 ohms. It's uh, slightly smaller due to tolerance. But uh, here you see 0.4667. Now that's in kilo ohms though. I can probably change that setting. I'm new to this meter. I haven't uh, fiddled around with it much. Uh, this is really as, as far as I've I've gone. I've never had one of these meters before either. But 0.4667 kilo ohms is the same as 470 ohms and all I had to do was slide the resistor in there and instead of uh, measuring the inductance now it's measuring the resistance so that's the auto part and now we come to the capacitor so as it says here discharge capacitor before test so we can do that just by putting a piece of metal across them now only do this with small value capacitors uh, and it's probably best not to be holding it when you do it, but uh, it's safer for small value capacitors. High value capacitors will send out a lot of current. And one reason why I had these on one row is that that will just charge it too if it's on the same row. But in any case, this is a polarized capacitor, so I'm going to put the negative side of the capacitor into that negative slot and the other side of the capacitor, which is intended to stay more positive into that slot. And here you see we have 447 microfarad. And this uh, capacitor is rated at 470 microfarad. So it's just slightly off, but uh, within tolerance range. So now, uh, the main reason I'm showing this now, or one of the big reasons, is this little guy here. These came with a kit that I had and they look like resistors this one's beige a lot of times they're blue when uh, when they look like this but uh, this one's green and I thought it was odd it was in uh, the inductor pile with inductors that look more like this and uh, at the time I didn't realize uh, inductors look like this but what I could do with a meter like this of course is just put it into the slots and remember I haven't made any changes to uh, any settings yet and now it measures the inductance in Henry's so this is 98 micro Henry's so that's about uh, 100 micro Henry's and uh, right there you can or that's a thousand uh, right there 100 micro Henry's so it was listed on the uh, box that it came in but uh, like I said, 
I hadn't seen inductors like that that I know of at that time so this tool would have made it really easy to uh, determine that now sometimes capacitors come in a similar package probably not with stripes but uh, they'll put uh, capacitors into a component like this with the, the leads coming out of the end I think these are uh, radio leads either radio or axial so uh, if you're not sure again discharge just in case it is a capacitor but uh, that's a really nice thing about this LCR Auto. You can just take an inductor, a capacitor, or a resistor, if you're not sure what the component is, and just uh, slide it in this slot. And based on the unit, uh, either Henry's, Farad's, or Ohm's, you'll uh, know what type of component it is. The meter figures that out for you.